I want to talk to you about uh, a little thing that you can add to Redux. Um, you know, kind of showing that Redux is really cool and uh, the, the flexible things that you can do with it. So what I did was I made an action creator that keeps track of media queries. And that's all it is. It's not even middleware. It's just an action creator. And the way you use it is when you initialize your store, you, uh, you then just call the, call the action creator and you tell it what, uh, what media queries you're interested in. So in this case, I want to know, am I on a phone? Am I on a tablet? Uh, and what is the width of my window, right? And then once you do that, it will set up the media queries. And then whenever it changes, it dispatches to the store. And the Redux store changes. And all you need to do in your components is subscribe. And then you can render, oh, am I on a phone? OK, I'm going to show this. Am I on a tablet? I'm going to show that, right? Uh, does Keynote quit? Uh, yes. All right. So uh, the way it looks is this. So start here. Basically, it gets a bunch of queries. Then it uh, goes through them, and it creates a query for each one of them here. Uh, and it, it runs it once. Right. And uh, there's a special function for uh, keeping track of the window width and height. Right. OK. And then the way you use it is quite simply, oh, that's sad. Um, so in your components, uh, let me close those. Doobie doobie doo. All right. So in your component, you subscribe with Redux. And uh, where is it? Ah. Oh, yeah. So, I okay. So here, for example, I'm embedding a Google Maps. But when you're on a desktop, you want to show the full Google Maps. And when you're on a phone, you just want to show the you know the the screenshot version, basically. And here, uh, I made a little component that does that, and it checks if uh, the phone is there. And if you're on a phone, it uh, it simply says uh, Google Maps static map. And if you're uh, on a regular computer, you get an iframe with the embedding and the place ID and everything. So it's quite simple. And the way you use it is like this. Oh. So here, here I have a full screen thing. Oh. <laughs> OK. And then once it get, grows smaller, it becomes a specialized iPhone version just by looking at the isPhone property. That's it. Thank you.